freaking game sucks, man. I want my money back. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, y'all? It's your boy, Blizzle Brasco, baby. baby. To my new subs, welcome, welcome, welcome. To my OG subs, my notification squad, and my 360p players, welcome back, baby. So, Call of Duty 2017 is here. It's here, and uh, I picked it up earlier today. I didn't go to the midnight launch. I'm too old for that shit, man. I was, I was, I was in bed sleeping, drooling all over my pillow by midnight. I'm, I'm too old to be doing the midnight launch thing. So I went and picked it up uh, this morning when I, before I went to the gym, went and got it. And surprisingly, there was, there was nobody in there. Like they had stacks and stacks of the game just sitting there, which was crazy. Then the girl tried to try to jip me, man, because I already I pre-ordered. I put like fifteen dollars on the game. She tried to charge me the full price. I was like, ah, 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 shout it. Go on ahead and put my fifteen dollars on toward the game. So I only got to give you forty or half a much. I'm not good at math, but anyways, man. So I just want to give you a quick impressions video. I'm actually getting ready to head out of town right now. So I want to give you a quick impressions video for two reasons. Number one, like I said, I'm getting ready to go out of town. And I've been playing the game and I'm actually enjoying the game. But also, you know, once I do this video, it's probably gonna be a while if I do another one just because I'm actually enjoying the game so far. So I wanna play the game. I wanna unlock some different things, different weapons, different uh, you know, different um outfits and you know the basic training perks and all I wanna unlock all that stuff and play around with it in the different divisions before I actually do like a you know official review or whatever of the game but so far man so good you can definitely tell that they've tweaked a few things during the beta some of the biggest things i've noticed the hit detection seems like it's a little more consistent you know sledgehammer sledgehammer does had has always had some pretty decent hit detection i must say but it, it seems a little more consistent i mean obviously it's call of duty so you still got those moments where you shoot first die first you know or whatever it is what it is it's call of duty you know what i'm saying but um also they nerfed the submachine guns and submachine guns have been nerfed they can no longer compete with ars and lmgs at you know mid to long range their smgs are now in the category they need to be in close quarters engagements and that's coming from me and i'm a rusher I'm, i love the running gun but i don't feel like an smg should overpower an ar from certain ranges you know what i'm saying if, and now finally they've got them to the point where they're balanced and that's the good thing um this map that you're watching the gameplay on is TDM on the USS Texas. It's one of the smaller maps in the game. And I like this map. I like close quarters maps. Um, this map has, unfortunately, it has a lot of head glitches on it. And I can definitely see potential later on down the road for people finding spots to just post up and camp. But being a rusher, you know, you got to find ways to outsmart campers. You know what I'm saying? And you have to be patient and not go to them because they'll get you every time. But anyway, this ain't no Russia, the Russia versus camper video. This is my quick impressions of the game. So some of the things that I don't like already, and obviously there are things that I think that they'll fix with their first patch. Number one, me and the homies were playing earlier and we kept getting kicked from each other. We were all in a party together and we kept getting disconnected. And you know, that was the same problems I was having when Battlefield 1 came out. It was we were having problems with the matchmaking, the party system, or whatever. And even when Black Ops 3 came out, we had the same issue. But yeah, we kept getting kicked out or whatever. We kept having to restart the app. I mean, that's typical launch day stuff. But another thing that really bothers me is I think there's so many people on the server at headquarters, it takes forever for that shit to load. It's choppy. It, you know the frame rate sucks i mean i mean i know it's just headquarters it ain't supposed to be you know that spectacular but you know i think that they're just trying to do too much with that headquarters thing man but on uh, anyways uh other than that i mean i'm feeling the game i mean i've only played tdm and, and domination so far um but some of the things that i'm still going to be paying attention to a little bit later on down the road obviously is a supply drop issue i mean we know that it's inevitable Supply drops are gonna have weapons in them at some point. It's just a matter of how much of an advantage are those weapons gonna give you over the weapons that come in the game that you know the the people are using right now. How much of the of an advantage are the supply drop weapons gonna have? That's the biggest thing we gotta pay attention to. And also skill based matchmaking because obviously right now there's no type of skill based matchmaking in play. I mean the game just came out. You get matched up with who you get matched up with and. You know, right now it's fun. I mean, I think I'm sitting at like a two, two KD or something. Maybe a little over a two. I don't remember, but not not that KD is important. But when you're talking about in terms of skill-based matchmaking, you know that is part of the matchmaking process. 
but um i'm sitting like i said i'm sitting at about a two and i haven't really gone up against and i've gone up against a few sweats but it's nothing like advanced warfare was where everybody was sweaty on the on the opposite team you know it was nothing like that or it ain't like destiny destiny is just sweaty all around and then multiplayer <laughs> But anyways, man, let me know what y'all think down in the comments of the game so far. I mean, I've already been getting people tweeting at me like, oh, yeah, it's just a honeymoon phase and blah, 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 blah. You're going to get bored and this and that. Anyway, I don't know. I'm enjoying the game. You know, obviously, I mean, Call of Duty is not a game I'm going to put hours and hours and days and weeks and months into anymore. But, you know, it's, it's definitely a good Call of Duty game. It's good to go back to boots on the ground. People are forced to have gun skill now. You have to actually win a gunfight one-on-one. -on -one. There is no jumping 40 feet in the air and sliding up under your nutsack and all that. You ain't doing all that no more. So that's definitely refreshing. But let me know what y'all think down in the comments. Like I said, I'm going to play the game some more when I get back in town and really just unlock some things, play around with the different divisions and the different basic training perks and different weapons and stuff like that. And I'll get back with y'all on my final thoughts of the game itself. Uh, make sure y'all like this video, share the video, and I'm going to see y'all in the next one. And I'm out this motherfucker. Peace. 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 Peace.